pair of teams here that know a thing or two about ball movement, Grant. Yeah, they really do. I mean, there's a great feel that these teams play with. Two of the smartest teams in the league. They focus on sharing the basketball and keeping everyone involved. This is a matchup for the purist. Now, here's Green. Walker on the double team. Gordon against Brown. Rejected by James. And he's able to get it back. Smith no good. Green against James. Pass to Payne. Walker with it. Davis down low. He's against Chris. Offensive rebound. The steal! Now Green. To the middle. Here's Smith. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Outside Walker. Pass to Davis. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. We played just over a minute here in the first. Releases. No good off the back of the rim. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Pass to Chris. And here's Gordon from the arc. Drops in the three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's James. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Teaming up with the Sun in the NBA someday. No good on the second free throw. You know, whether it happens or not, I think everyone would like to see LeBron and his son play together, Smitty. B.A., I think it would be one of the coolest things to take place in the league. We've seen it in other sports, but for it to happen in the NBA, it would be awesome. Now, here's Davis. What a tremendous game he played against Philadelphia. Payne, a screen on Porter. James passes to Payne. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw Kyle. Enjoy the lead now. No way y'all win. First free throw is good. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Shangun checked in for Smith. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. Davis with it. And it's Shangun picking him up. Gordon against James. Davis with a screen on Gordon. James passes to Davis. From eight feet. The bank shot, no good. Four attempts with nothing to show for. Well, you know, after he was jettisoned by the Cavaliers, Kevin Porter Jr. getting a second chance here with the Rockets, and they've put the ball in his hands and believe in him. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Gordon against Davis. Pass to Chris. They double him with Brown. Six to shoot. Back to Chris. Launches it. Kept alive by Houston. Gordon outside. And finally, they hit one. Gordon's got his second bucket on the night. And Kevin Porter with an opportunity in Houston now to learn from his past mistakes. Well, B.A., controlling his turnovers, now still a work in progress, but all these early reps will serve him well long term. So it's the Lakers now. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Green with a screen on Brown. Gordon with it. Picked up by James. 
using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity. Pass to Payne. To the inside, Brown. Here's Davis. And the layup is good off the glass. This is where the length of AD really shows up. You think you have him well defended, and maybe you do, but it's just not enough. Now here's Porter. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Green against Walker. On the attack, Green. And here's Porter outside. Here's Gordon. Excellent D there from Payne. And MP's made some business news. He's landed a major shoe deal. He's officially arrived. And you know, from what I heard, he went with Nike as the shoe company. Big get for Nike as well as for MP. James can't get it to go. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Pass to Chris. Fires for three. Outside for Porter. Back to Shangun. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. And B.A. Appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Here's Walker, following the score by Houston. Outside Davis. Left side, Payne. Payne, a screen on Gordon. James finds Payne. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll... Good luck hanging on to this lead. It ain't gonna Porter. last. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And he makes a first. Well, we're more than a few games into the year. How much do we know about this year's rookie class, Grant? Well, it's still early. We have to remember, we might be a half year into a decade-plus career for some of these guys. So I think it's best to reserve judgment for now. An NBA career is a marathon. Now, here's Green. He came away with 14 points in his last game. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way. But I agree with you on that one. The Lakers trail. On the wing, MP. Davis, the pass to Payne. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Payne's got seven points in the game. You look around the league at possible all-star selections. MP has made a pretty good case for himself. I agree, and Grant, you have to think the momentum is there for MP to be an all-star. At the very least, you think he has to warrant consideration. Now here's Porter. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Fires the three. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Payne, pass to James. Back to Payne. Porter against Walker. Pass to Davis. Over Gordon. No good off the glass. The will is there, but the execution is lagging. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Shangun, a screen on Brown. The 11-footer. Shangun finds Gordon. Let's it fly from 18. Called in by Brown. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Payne. Soft touch Ooh. off the glass. He's got nine. That's just in the lead so on the floor for Houston green the two with Gordon the three then it's Smith then there's Josh Christopher and it's Garuba in its center 
Now here's Schroeder. Misses the step back jumper. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the 76ers put on a show. He added 29 points, and that was just one element of his production. He ended up with a triple-double on the night. He was focused, very productive. The team leaned on him all night, guys. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much of that performance carries over into this one. His goal is to provide whatever the team needs from him on that particular evening. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Schroeder with it. Nine points for him in his last game. And here's Payne outside. And they get it back. Right side Brown. Gordon against James. Just five on the clock. Davis a screen. Second chance effort. Boy, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. James has gotten his first bucket of the night. A threat from every spot on the floor. LeBron still probably the toughest cover in the league. Pass to Garuba. Now here's Gordon. Now here's Smith. Checked by Davis. 11 feet out. Smith no good. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Payne. Tries again. Got a hand on it. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Pass to Christopher. And here is Green. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Davis, the pass to Payne. Outside Schroeder. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. Come on, MP! You can do it, MP! We believe in you, bro! On their bench. These are all battle-tested guys, B.A., who know how to overcome tough situations and win games. And they say to win big, sometimes you have to sacrifice. Tell us exactly what that means, though, in basketball terms, Smitty. What it means, B.A., as a player, you might have to accept a more defined role. Most players grew up as the best player on their team. When you're on a contending team, sometimes you have to just star in your role. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have to go. Get pumped, MP! Do some damage out there! For Los Angeles, they've gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. James, outside. Pass to Davis. To the paint. Here's Payne. Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. Shots blocked. And that's out of bounds. The link. Way to work on defense, MP. Here's Payne. We saw him with 29 points in his last game. Good on the bucket. In terms of scoring, this hasn't been his quarter. Just one of seven. Here's Gordon. Smith with a screen on Brown. Gordon, the pass to Smith from eight feet. And it's blocked by Davis. All of 87 six wingspan coming into play allowed him to block it away. Knocks it down from distance. And it's a 10-point Laker lead. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Well, it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt. Great job getting the hands up so far, making life difficult on shooters. Another thing they're doing right early on tonight is attacking the offensive glass. Just outworking the defense and winning second chances at the hoop. Tipped. Here's Christopher. Five points in the game. Pass to Green. Trying to get back on track. And Davis with the block. Smith passes to Gordon. Here's Garuba. Outside for Green. They set the pick. Goes up again. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. 
Here's Walker. Again, the Lakers. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. I am the perimeter shooter as of late, realizing that he can be very valuable shooting the ball. And the Rockets making a change here. Chris has checked in. Gordon outside. Driving to the basket. Pass to Chris. Oh, MP with a block. Oh, there's the alley. And Davis slams it home. What a beautiful play. And it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Green with a screen on Brown. Pass to Chris. They need this. Rebound by the Lakers. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. Gordon with it. Picked up by James. Goes up on the baseline. Off the left rim and out. I don't know how many misses that is in a row. But I know it's ugly. Payne, a screen on Gordon. And count the basket. He was fouled. He's going to the line for one more. Hey, I got it. Approaching their rebuild. This summer, drafting Jabari Smith and Tari Eason, two versatile forwards to go with the other young talents. It feels like the picture is starting to come into focus in Houston. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Porter Jr.'s checked in. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost them three. The Lakers have gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. Here's James. Drops in the layup for two. James has got six. They have no answer defensively inside. Houston has gone 1 of 4 from three-point land here in the second. And here's Porter, continuing to put up the points, averaging 14 per game. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And it's James with the jam. <laughs> they're simply not missing. Unreal. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Now here's Green. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Down low. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Yeah, what an athlete Smith is. Excellent at rising up to punch it home. And there's James from the arc. That one is off. And Houston will come the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out, losing to the Clippers. And it was an awful game defensively. They lost the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. Point blank, this is a bad combination. If you're looking to get stops, that's not the way. Now, here is James. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. Payne, pass to Davis. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Walker. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Green. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Gordon finds Porter. Smith with it. Now here's Gordon. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. James, outside. And he's going for the oop here. Up top, Smith. Checked by James. Gordon outside. Outside, Green. The three-pointer off the mark. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Payne, the pass to Davis. And it goes as the official. For the Lakers, Reeves comes in for Brown, and it's Westbrook in for James. 
Over the years, no team in the NBA has had more star power than the Lakers. They always have at least one future Hall of Famer on the roster. All right, let's get a report. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Allie. Out of bounds, it'll be Lakers ball. That's what happens when nothing goes your way. Los Angeles, firmly in control with an impressive goal. Way to come out, guys. Great job. Sixteen. The Rock. Thirty-two. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the Los Angeles Lakers. Tremendous job finding the big dudes and letting them work. Great physicality, and it ain't all about the three ball, is it, big fella? Nope, elbows are on the way. And now that we have some time, let's see how the all-star voting is shaping up. All-star voting this early is just a popularity contest. Guys who are well-known and guys who are good with social media. All of that is true, Shaq. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And welcome back to our NBA coverage on this very special MLK Day. The Lakers shooting the ball at 46% for the floor. They've got Lonnie Walker. MP is out there with Davis. Then there's Tony Brown. And it's James in at the point. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And Eric Gordon gets the whistle that time. That's foul. Number. That's a foul. Thanks, ref. James against Porter. James passes to Davis, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last time for Smith. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head, forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Gordon finds Green. Back to Gordon. Picked by Smith. Shoots over Walker. Gordon can't hit. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. And the Lakers with possession here. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. And they're deep into this homestand. That'll be game four out of five. Kicks it out to MP. Clock at six. Goes back up. And he takes it up and lays it in. Payne's got 16 points. And when you're the ones trying to fight your way back into the game, you simply cannot allow second chances. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. Now, here is James. Give him eight. Yep, that one's good. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Gordon. Smith with it. Checked by Davis. Stolen by Payne. And it's the Lakers on the break. Brown passes to James. The kick out to Walker. Misses the three. And Houston is shooting a poor 25% for this game so far. 
Now Porter. Six points for him. Shot clock at six. It's Chris. High post. Second chance shot. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get. That's his second personal ball. First team ball. Shooting for Houston. And he makes the first but misses the second. They've been unable to hit anything this half. Three attempts and three misses. Here's Davis. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. Way to stay engaged on D. Come on. Second team. To miss valuable games at times. You know the thing with AD, he's always bounced back from his injuries. I totally agree with you, B.A. It's a true credit to his resiliency, physically and mentally as well. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. This is basketball 101. This is the size mismatch you look to create. And the Rockets with possession here. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Gordon with it, and Davis picks him up defensively. Smith outside. Oh, my! That's a foul? You gotta be kidding me. Second team. That's a long to the Rockets. Javari Smith. Three versatility and of course shooting and Smith Jr. has all of that and more. Well you mentioned the shooting Grant. Smith Jr. hitting 42% from beyond the arc last season. B.A. I mean among his many skills that one probably stands out the most but I also love his potential at the other end. He really has those tools to be a lockdown defender one through five. For Houston they've gone 0 for 4 not the way they want to start the second half. Gordon outside. The Lakers with a rebound. Payne's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Pass to Davis. The Rockets pull it in. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Now Porter. James with a steal. Left side, Davis. And out of bounds. The Rockets will take it. No more turnovers! It's not that hard! And the Rockets shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. Green with the ball. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He almost blocked that shot in time, just a nanosecond late. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. James passes to Davis. Right side, Payne. Banked it in off the glass. Payne's got 18 points in the game. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. James against Porter. Pass to Gordon. Back to Porter. Clock at four. Puts up a three. Hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Porter, the pass to Gordon. Tipped away, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Gordon. Christopher, yeah, he's just like that, baby. Get your hands in there. Josh Christopher. Here's Walker, and right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Walker, a screen on Gordon. Here's James. He's got it. Six of ten now. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. 
Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And they recover it. Here's Christopher. He's got five. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Chris. And so he draws the foul. That's his first stats for the Lakers. What I love and the coaching staff has to love is the defense. They've really brought the energy with all these blocks we've seen in this one. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off of transition play. Running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. Nwaba, he's checked in for the Rockets. Kicks it out to Brian. And here's Schroeder outside. It's not going to go for him. And it's Houston the other way. Here's Christopher, taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Pass to Chris. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. Get in their heads, bro! Turnover, make a Reeves. 